Hey guys, it's Claire. And I've gotten many questions over the last couple of years about what it's like to attend a Christian university as someone who is not a Christian. So I thought I would answer some of these questions for you guys today. And I know obviously a lot of my peers at school are going to give me some backlash for the answers that I'm going to give. But honestly, I don't care. I'm speaking my truth. This has nothing to do with anyone individually. I'm not attacking anyone with my answers. And this video is not meant to offend anybody. It's just kind of to talk about my experience and I've had a really good one. I should probably start out with saying that. And I've gotten all of these from the Instagram questions. So I'm gonna start from the beginning and there's quite a few. My first question was, what's your honest opinion of your Bible professor? My Bible teacher honestly is a pretty attractive man. He's actually a great teacher though, but besides of him being like pretty attractive, a lot of girls in my class had a huge crush on them, a lot of my friends included, and I have to agree, he's, he's a very attractive man. But I learned a lot in that class, I thought it was a pretty entertaining class, and he did a really good job with the lectures. I usually had more notes for that class than I had for any other class, so he did an excellent job of explaining the material, and I ended up with an A in that class. Is there a religious precedent that isn't Christian? Yeah, there's actually quite a few people who aren't Christian at my school. I know some people who are Muslim, who are Islamic. Um, clearly, I'm half Jewish. I know it makes no sense either. Um, <laughs> to clear up any confusion um, of things I say later on in this video, I'm half Jewish through my mother's side. No, I don't practice Judaism. It's just fun for me to be like, oh yeah, I'm Jewish. It's like a joke between me and my friends, but it's not meant to be offensive. But I mean, there's definitely some people who aren't Christian, but I would say the majority is Christian. Do you regret going to a religious university? I do not regret going to a religious school. I have no regrets about that. I, I like my school. I'm not big on partying or loud environments. And for the most part, it's pretty calm, pretty quiet. There's hardly any partying going on. And that's how I like it. Are your religious peers respectful of your beliefs? So some people are very respective of people who aren't religious, like my roommate Faith. Like we get along so well we have so much in common and we don't believe the same things and like something she says to me often i love how we just don't believe the same thing but we get along really really well um but there are also quite a few people who you know if you're not christian or religious in some aspect they just cut you off completely which i think is kind of ridiculous but People are going to believe what they're going to believe and you can't really change that. You just have to accept that and move on. Are you atheist or agnostic? So I've gone back and forth with my beliefs quite a few times in my life. In middle school, I was definitely more agnostic, but events in my life have definitely happened. Like one, my brother being diagnosed with terminal cancer has definitely shifted my opinion on religion there's just certain aspects about christianity or the bible that i don't particularly agree with and i just think it's it makes me feel more at ease just knowing that i'm in control 100 percent of my own life um rather than having to believe and worship some higher power that's just my personal opinion obviously i go to a christian school so i respect people of all religions i don't really care what people believe it's like that's like a side thing we can get along just fine even if we have differing opinions but yes i'm an atheist do you go to church i used to go to church every sunday when i was little and then it kind of graduated to we'd go to the easter service and then i was homeschooled and didn't really go to the church and then a little bit in high school I was starting to get more into it. I wasn't really like Christian, but I would definitely say I was teetering towards like Jewish agnostic, but definitely don't go to church anymore. Not my thing. I did end up going to church with Caroline this year though. 
and I mean it was it was a decent experience it was a um church of god church so because I it was the church on campus so it wasn't really my style it's very orthodox and not my thing but I I mean I enjoyed being able to go to church with her I just mm, not my thing do people judge you for your beliefs I get judged quite often for my beliefs. I mean, a lot of people just will stop being friends with me if they find out that I don't believe in God, which I think is kind of ridiculous. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to accept it. We just move on from that. But yeah, I get judged all the time. And it's something I had to learn to live with because knowing that like I don't believe the same as the majority, I'm going to get put into a category and... I just have to be okay with that, and I've learned quite a bit. What made you choose a Christian school over a different kind of private school? Actually, if you remember way back in like 2016, 2017, before I went to film camp at AU, I was dead set on going to Ball State and being a telecommunications major there. I had to think logically. One. Am I going to like the fact that it is a huge school and I won't be able to get the help I need? Two, can I drive on the interstate or out of my city? No. And so a lot of things just accumulated and I was like, well, AU's close. Like I live 10 minutes away from my school. I can come home literally whenever I want. If I like need something, my parents are still gonna be there. It's not like a pressure thing to where crap, my parents aren't here if I need something. So obviously at AU, they're 10 minutes away. So if I need anything, obviously they're there. If like I'm sick or something or Faith is sick, I can stay at my house. And obviously it works out just fine. I We had that happen um, back in the fall. I got really sick and one night I was like, I just need to go home. And this is when Brooke lived with us. And I was like, you guys, I've been coughing for five hours and it's like 1 a.m. I need to go home. This is kind of ridiculous. You guys stay. It's not fair to the 20 people on this floor. I'm going home. And then the next night they ended up going to Brooks Farmhouse. But um, yeah, it was like it was convenient because we were able to make compromises because I live so close. Um, but yeah, I never wanted to go to a Christian school. It was never my first choice, but... I don't regret the decision. I'm really happy with my decision. Why do you fangirl over lacrosse players? First off, this was Faith who sent this question and there was one lacrosse player that I liked. Okay. Stop fucking lying. Bitch. Does having to go to chapel annoy you? Our chapel has been pretty lenient so far. Knock on wood that it stays that way. There's no wood in this frame. But we're basically able to participate or not participate. We just obviously have to show up and scan the codes and you have to stay pretty much the whole time. They usually let you in between like five minutes, like, like five minutes or less late. So if you're a little bit late, it's not a huge deal, but you can't leave early. I would know. I tried that a couple times. <laughs> but there, like, there'll be some people who will speak and I do want to hear them like Mike Thickpin is the director of the Cultural Resource Center on campus and I just love the sound of his voice and he's just such a great person that whenever he speaks obviously I listen but um yeah for the most part I don't really pay attention it kind of annoys me kind of doesn't annoy me sometimes they'll have like the dance department go on stage and dance or like some of my peers like Cassidy will sing and I get to listen to that so yes I know and I feel like that goes pretty much the same for every kid, even the religious kids, because sometimes you just want to go eat lunch or sleep in longer. What the fuck? Hannah Bayou has this, I don't know what it is. She just automatically assumes that Ball State's mascot is balls. I don't really know why, but no. Has it further affirmed your belief that atheism is the truth? All right, so my beliefs haven't really changed since I've been at AU. I haven't swayed more one way than the other way, other than the fact that if 
like for me in my own opinion i took a bible class this semester it was actually a pretty inter interesting class and i was like this is pretty cool like this is and this is my opinion i'm gonna say this take it with a grain of salt to me it's like oh i get to kind of see this fantasy world and like put the different pieces together of what people at church talked about and i was like okay like i i, I get it like it's cool like not my thing but like i get it and so like in a way it's like oh if anything was going to make sense from the bible i would probably pick the first testament and say that judaism makes more sense than christianity but it really hasn't shifted my opinion i'm still atheist i still respect christianity that's pretty much it was it hard not to cuss winky face cussing <laughs> I feel like I cuss less now because I've just grown out of the stage of, oh, I can cuss now. But if I wanted to cuss, I pretty much just cussed. I don't, I have this hard, I, I don't want to have to hold it back. There are some situations where I do have to hold it back. I remember the first day of chapel, our president sat behind me and I literally just like wanted to play on the computer. I didn't want to watch chapel. And so he sat behind me, he goes, hey kids. And I said out loud, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> not the time not the place it was a reaction and it shouldn't have happened i don't think he remembers this i desperately hope not i love our president he was on my podcast he's just such a great person but yeah there will be some instances where i've had to learn those aren't the places or the times to be cussing but for the most part i mean if i if i cuss i i just cuss and i say what i want and luger will get on to me he's like you don't need to be cussing I'm like, eh. But yeah, I mean, there will be some instances where I had to hold myself back from cussing. But other than that, I kind of just cuss. Do you like going to services now? No. <laughs> Do people discriminate against sexualities or beliefs? At my school, there's a huge prejudice against different religions, different, like, spiritual beliefs and sexualities. It kind of sucks, honestly. Um, there's I, there's an unwritten rule, correct me if I'm wrong, the last I heard there's this like unwritten rule that like, or maybe it's a written rule, that if you are in a same sex relationship, you cannot um, have PDA on campus or something like that, which I think is kind of ridiculous. If you're gonna make that a rule, it might as well be a rule for everyone, even if you're in a heterosexual relationship. Like it just, what's the point <laughs> i don't know i i feel bad because a lot of the queer kids at my school definitely are oppressed and they don't really need to be because there's nothing wrong with being lgbtq plus that's all i'm gonna say okay well that is all the questions that i got and so i hope i answered y'all's questions and i just want to say like really quickly if you guys haven't clicked off yet i love my school there's obviously things i would like to see change but overall, I do love my school. I'm so happy with my choice to go there. And for the most part, I love everybody there. I think it's furthered my love and passion of fueling my YouTube and fueling my writing passion and things like that. And you know, I can't wait to graduate a public relations major. Ooh, did I just say that? Did I just say that? Oh yeah, I switched majors. That'll be a video soon. <laughs> I originally came to this school as a film major. In this past semester, I decided to switch my major. I haven't done that officially, but I switched my major and I'm really excited for that change. And I really hope that I'm able to further my love for like writing and the media through this experience. And I'm really excited to be doing it at my Christian school. But yeah, um, if you, are not a religious person, but you have patience, I definitely recommend putting a, a Christian or private school on your list somewhere when you're applying to colleges, just because it's a great idea if you are more of a reserved person and you don't really like partying or noise, I guess. It's a lot quieter and smaller. It's much quieter and mu a much smaller environment. And it personally works for me. I don't know how I'd feel if I went to a party school. I don't know. 
I'm not a partier, so. But yeah, I miss school very, very much, and I honestly can't wait to be back there in the fall, so thanks for watching.